All right, so Val Porter's at the hockey game. What's up, Val? Hey! <laughs> what are you doing here tonight? Uh, doing some bench interviews and uh, just helping out in general and having she's a good a time. She's Pierre Maguire. <laughs> Pierre Maguire of WDVE. If you listen to the show on Friday, she's a Pierre Maguire of WDVE. <laughs> she's, she's off from Canada, eh? Yeah, eh? <laughs> Posers. Kevin, do you see foregoing your Steeler career to be a Penguin at this point? I still got what I never had, so I hope I get my shot. It's half time. You guys are up 6-1. to one. What's happening here? What's uh, we're, over, we're overcoming some terrible coaching from Mark Madden. I'm a little disappointed I'm not getting as much ice time as I would have liked. As we know, there is no I in team, but you cannot spell Mike without it. like 30, son. Where do you want to be? Anywhere? Uh, I'm going to sleep here. This is our uh, winger, uh, Mark Zakowski. Mark, hey. tell us what's happening here tonight. Well, if I could catch my breath, I would. <laughs> are, you, are you minus it's three? One, I'm minus three already, and we've only played 13 minutes, so that's all I can tell you. I pulled every muscle in my body trying to drag Platt off the ice. <laughs> Hold on, don't put your helmet on yet. I, uh, right. Let's I have talk caution about tape here. on me here. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey, I do have is that from your say. last? Is that from your last? I, I would not fire? be here if not for the help and this. You guys don't know this, but you guys saved my kid's life last summer when he was in an ATV accident. He was in a 30-foot ravine and he was flown to Pittsburgh by staff medic. It's a very good uh, emergency medical people. He ain't alive without you guys. He's not gonna play hockey. There you go. Your asses. <laughs> We're here with Bill Spano. Phil, tell us what's going on here tonight. I don't know if we're quite sure. We're kind of wondering ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't. Six to one. Robert Morris has really got to get it together. I'm, I think we're going to turn our sticks around on the, the second period, just play with the butt ends. I think our coach said uh, he was going to trade the hands this next period. I'm not sure if they're helping us or hurting us. We're not sure yet. Oh, all right, tell us what's happening here tonight. <laughs> you guys are getting your butts handed to yours. <laughs> Do you think it's a lack of skill, a lack of brains, or a little bit of both? A little bit of both, I think. We'll, we'll see conditioning. I think conditioning. Your number 92 over there looks like you could use a little conditioning. We're up 6 to 1. If I had my way, we'd put Phil Spano on defense to get the other team back in the game. That's my strategy for this half. It's my understanding the Hanson wasn't going to switch teams. I did not bargain for this. I'm going to have to dig very, very deep. If I look nervous, it's because I am. <laughs> we need help. You got <laughs> Hey man! Brad! Help! Did the Germans fall for a harbor? No! It is not over now! <laughs> Germans? We have a big one alumni. Dwayne, we're up here. Say hi, Dwayne. How you doing? All right, and Kara Sapata, WPXI. This is your coaching debut. Tell us how exciting this I'm is. I'm so excited. The very first thing I did is recruit an assistant coach in the weight room. What's your big secret for the second half of the game? I think my big secret is we're going to spend a lot more time on that side of the arena. Jeff. That makes me Jeff. And we're here playing all-time hockey like Eddie Shore. Totally. And Dick Lapper. And Gordy Howe. Gordy. 